Oh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one form isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading can apply to your past, your presence, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. So with that being said, guys, let's get started. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well, and so your overall messages are as follows. We have Betrayal. Be careful who you trust. Beware of the snakes trying to come into your life to harm or fool you. Messed around and did the wrong thing. Greed. Evil doers in disguise. Okay? So, first of all, there's some type of betrayal or disloyalty or something that is going on. Whoever this is that is trying to betray you, they have messed up and they've done the wrong thing. Spirit is saying that they, they effed up a long time ago, okay? You do need to be careful who it is that you trust, okay? Because these are some greedy individuals, some materialistic individuals. These are the type of persons that will do anything for money, okay? So, these could be enemies, frenemies, um, persons hating on you, okay, uh, family of yours, lovers of yours, who like whomever, okay, um, but spirit is also telling you to beware of the snakes that is trying to come into your life to harm you or fool you, and like I said, this could be anybody, okay, this could be anybody that you know or you don't know, okay, so that's what's going on here, guys, we're gonna do some further clarification, for this situation. Let's see what else is happening here. What else is going on? Can y'all see that? Hopefully y'all can see the cards. Okay. So we clarify betrayal. Why is betrayal here? Okay, so we have the moon. Oh, goodness. We have the moon here, okay? Some of you all could have a, a, a have a sinister lover as well here, okay? This is somebody that you could be currently with or you used to be with, okay? Um, this person is a devil worshiper, whether you know it or not. There's something very sinister about this person. There's some type of darkness about this person, okay? Nevertheless, to clarify betrayal, we have the moon here, okay? So this talks about secrets, hidden things, what's done in the dark, evil, shady people, decisions being made, dirty dealings, illusions, fear, hiding things, moon magic, um, causing one to feel overwhelmed or sadness. It can speak to wickedness, the unconscious, also criminal activity, doubt, dilemmas. Um, things happening late night in the wee hours of the morning as well as the past here, okay? So this portrayal could be something um, that is currently going on yet also stemming from the past as well. This betrayal, this disloyalty could be something that has been going on persistently for a long period of time. But the moon here talks about something that's going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back, okay? Um... Yet this moon is illuminating what secret was hidden, okay, as it relates to this betrayal that is going on. To clarify, be careful who you trust. We have the Ten of Cups here, okay? So, um, this speaks to family, okay, or a large group or a number of persons, okay, working together against you. This is the reason why you need to be careful who you trust, okay? Um, there's definitely a sense of supposed family here. And I say supposed family because a person, these people aren't really your family if they're willing to do these evil, wicked, demonic things to you the way they are. Even if y'all are blood related. Um, yeah. I don't see that as family, okay? Nevertheless, okay, this could be, like I said, a large number of persons who you need to be careful who you trust or, um, and or family, okay, and this could be any and all parts of your family, okay, this could be your complete family, your mother's side and your father's side, or vice versa, either or, okay, 
Um, to clarify, be, uh, beware of the snakes trying to come into your life to harm you or fool you. We have the mother card here, okay? Speaking of family, okay? But this is my bad mother card here, okay? Um, you see how she looks very dark, very sinister, very evil. Um, Spirit is saying this person is a bad mother. This person is mean and surly. You may or may not know or be aware that this mother do spell work. She's very unloving. Okay, she could even be a witch on some level. Okay, she's hot-tempered, neglectful, very hateful. Um, she could also be envious and jealous of you, abusive. Okay, this is a narcissist that need help. This person is very selfish. Could even be dealing with some type of mental illness uh, on some level. Be wicked and not nurturing at all. But she's being described as a bad mother nonetheless. So whether this is your actual mother, this is someone who is a mother. So this could be a mother, a grandmother, an aunt. How this could be a sister. This could be anyone um, that is a mother. Okay. Whether this is someone who is directly related to you or indirectly related to you, okay? Um, so we have fire sign here. There's somebody who is a fire sign who messed around and did the wrong thing, okay? Um, this may be this mother figure, but this could be someone else. Whatever this betrayal that went on that took place, um, Spirit is saying that this fire sign fucked up a long time ago and they messed up and they did the wrong thing. Um, this fire sign is going to be Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries individual here, okay? Who betrayed you in some type of way spirit clarify greed yeah like i said these individuals are money hungry gold diggers they 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 did this for the purposes of uh, money they're attacking you for the purposes of money they betrayed you for the purposes of money okay um this says if it don't make money it don't make sense it's these people feel like time is money so stop wasting it okay they're money hunger they're gold diggers and they're willing to do anything for money including sabotage or try to ruin you okay spirit clarify evil doers in disguise evil doers in disguise so we have the tower here that sits here on evil doers in disguise these evil doers in disguise could be this mother individual here um, they've been trying to cause some type of tower to happen in your life here, okay? Some type of upheaval, some shakeup of things, some type of tragic uh, situation to, to happen in your life. Um, suddenly, abruptly, tragedy, chaos, okay? Um, some type of disruption, deception, destruction on some type of level here. They could be trying to try to have you harmed or fall ill in some type of way injured in some type of way um this could be murder death uh, this could be a multitude of different things okay because the tower is problems of any kind but this is what these evil doers have been trying to do to you because of your greed but they messed around and they did something they did the wrong thing okay and they could be getting themselves caught up here but they've been trying to cause a tower to collapse in your life and your family's in on this they the ones who have betrayed you but there's other individuals who are working with them against you the bottom of the deck we have here your feelings are valid remember the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and to be loved in return okay so this telling this talks about you expressing yourself you speaking up okay um spirit is saying that you deserve to be heard your voice and your thoughts and your opinions matter okay never let anyone mute you say something express how you really feel okay Get some further clarification, guys. See what else is going on here. So there's been some secret things going on behind the scenes um, with your family, especially this mother. Of, of yours that could be a, a fire sign individual and she's doing this for the purposes of money here okay because these evil and these evil doers are trying to cause some type of tower to happen in your life but this tower could backfire on them in some type of way shape form or fashion spirit clarify betrayal with the moon betrayal 
what the moon. These individuals did something to try to cause you bad health. Spirits clarify betrayal with the moon. They also did something in a court of law. We have thief here. These individuals are trying to steal something from you or, or stole something from you here, okay? Spirit clarify, be careful who you trust. Yeah, you need to be careful about trusting these false persons. I keep seeing the courthouse here. There's something that was done in a court of law here. Somebody could have falsified some type. You see how this person is carrying some type of uh, paperwork or something in the courthouse um, to like try to steal something from you. Something could have been fabricated, falsified or something. You need to be careful of who you trust with this false person here, okay? And I feel like it's more than one person. It's both male and female who's involved in this situation. And these individuals are individuals in your family, in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. This person is fake as they come. They fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue. This person is a deceiver. They're a betrayer. They're a liar, cheater, um, manipulator, con artist, okay? This person will smile up in your face while they're stabbing you in your back here, okay? This person also wants you to be blind, dumb, deaf, and crazy. And, and they don't want you to know. They think you don't know. That is them. Even if you have called them out on bullshit they have done, this person will deny that they have done anything to you to a T. This just goes to show how narcissistic and mentally ill this person is. But this false person has stolen something from you or has tried to steal something from you, okay? Spirit, clarify, beware of the snakes trying to come into your life to harm you or fool you. Yeah, this is a mature woman, okay? I also seen gift here. This person brought you some type of gift. There's something tainted about it, cursed about it, evil about it, wicked about it, sinister about it. This person didn't do so out the goodness of their heart. They did so to entrap you some type of way or to set you up in some type of way. Okay, this this mature woman is over the, the that's a mother is over the age of 50. Spirit, clarify, messed around and did the wrong thing. Messed around and did the wrong thing with this fire sign. Messed around and did the wrong thing with this fire sign. So something definitely has to do. You see here, gift, adjudication, family room, message of concern here, okay? So there's something that has to do with the gift. Somebody could have brought you some type of gift. Or they, either there was a gift that was left for you, to you, or somebody could have brought you some type of gift because of some type of something going on in the courts. But you see, this family room is empty. So whoever you are, you have family, but you don't have family. Because these people don't love you, support you, have your back or nothing, okay? This family could have received some type of message of concern, though about something somebody could be in bad health right now something has to do with a house a wealthy man whoever this mature woman is 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 a snake though it's evil it's sinister and has been doing multiple things to try to set you up Spirit, clarify I messed around and did the wrong thing. Messed around and did the wrong thing. This person is trying to keep you in poverty, cause your death. Spirit, clarify I messed around and did the wrong thing. This person, whatever this betrayal that they partook in to steal something from you, this person could be facing imprisonment for what they have done. This could be the reason why this person brought you some type of gift. This person manipulated something in a court of law. And the only reason why they gave you some type of gift is, is because they didn't got found out or caught up with the shit that they did in secret to, to steal something from you and they could be facing imprisonment for something that they've done that has to do with greed, it has to do with money it's very clarified, greed and money time is money yeah 
See, there was something that went on in a court of law. This person could have falsified documentations, lied in a court of law because they're greedy and they're materialistic. There was something that was left for you and this person stole it. And this false person has been trying to set you up all along so they can get away with taking something from you spirit clarify evil doers in disguise with the tower evil doers in disguise with the tower mm -hmm. so these individual this person is in despair here that this this tower could have happened in this person's life in some type of way this person is in despair about something that also could be something going on with this person's job they could have lost their job or something here i feel like these people worked as a married couple together because i also see marriage Because of this tower, see these evildoers was trying to cause a tower to happen in your life, but something could have backfired on them in some type of way, and it's caused despair in their marriage here. Something that has to do with great fortune. They're some type of greed and a theft of some type of great fortune. Once again, look, great fortune, message of concern, family room, setting wealth. Main female thoughts, expectation here. Heart mm -hmm. spirit, please give us clean, accurate messages. also something with the house as well. We have a house at the bottom of the deck here. It's very clear for betrayal. The moon and death. Betrayal. A house was definitely involved here. I shuffled and it came back up at the top of the deck again. I seen it again. So there was a theft of some type of property, a home, some type of money as well. This false person that you need to be careful of trusting, this person is an ordained minister. This could be someone in your family that's an ordained minister. This card says priest, but an ordained minister could be like anyone who holds a position in a church who has been ordained in some type of way, which is completely fraudulent. I think that shit is so stupid. They literally will give that to anybody. It's ridiculousness. It does not even make sense. Like, it literally, literally takes little to no effort for you to get some type of certificate to say that you were ordained minister. Like, it, it's absurd. Has anybody involved in shit like this should have never been ordained? Like, could you, could you, I mean, like, really? I mean, people go to prison and all of a sudden convert to whatever it is they want to believe in, you know, and can get some type of certificate to say that they're ordained. I mean, it's the, the most absurd crap I've ever seen. But whoever this person is, that you need to be careful who you trust. This person is a, 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 a like a pastor, co-pastor, or they're an ordained minister, okay? So that an or just by saying an ordained minister could literally be any position within the church, okay? In some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Spirit, clarify, be, um, beware of the snakes trying to come into your life to harm you or fool you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have foe here. This snake that's trying to come into your life or did come into your life to try to harm you or fool you with some type of gift or something like that. This bad mother. This person is the enemy. This person is your op. 
your opponent. They're not for you. They don't like you. They don't love you. They don't care about you. They will play a role. They will stunt. They will front. They will lie to you. But this person is a foe. A foe is someone who is an enemy, who is an opponent here, okay? I'm telling you, something has to do with a gift that was left for you. Spirit, clear if I messed around and did the wrong thing. So this person messed around and did the wrong thing. Now they're surprised. Now they're shocked that they could face imprisonment for taking this gift from you or lying in some type of way. Spirit, clarify greed. Time is money and courthouse. Greed. Time is money and courthouse. Yeah, this person went to court, falsified some type of information, documentation, lied to steal something from you. This is here on greed. The money hungry gold digger time is money card with the courthouse here. Thief. Very clarify evil doers in disguise. Evil doers in disguise. Yeah, something has caused, there has been some type of misfortune. And I see the wedding card here. So this person, whoever this bad mother is, th this person and their husband is like tag team partners and whatever the hell's been going on. But something has caused some type of misfortune here. With the tower card here, if you look at this, this, this house has been torched like there's been a fire or something. I don't know if this happened at their house. Or this happened at the house that, that was stolen from you. Maybe they torched it on purpose. Okay? But either way, there's some type of despair that's going on within this marriage here. Because something, there has to be this tower. There has been a major tower. And it has caused some type of misfortune here. And it's because of this, this foe here, your enemy, your op. It's because this person messed around and did the wrong thing here and got found out. This is, this is a trip. This married couple also received some type of a messenger, delivered them some type of message. Okay? This message could have came from someone who's a scholar or something like that or what have you here. They had some type of meeting or reunion with this person or meet up with this person about their child here, about a child or their child here. Now this person is in sorrow because of this gift. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. Now this person feeling sad. Feeling depression. They took a lack of seriousness, okay, with frivolity here, they had a lack of seriousness, a lighthearted approach to the situation, like they didn't care, but now this person is in bad health. With my lady here, this person may have some type of disease, ailment, illness, or sickness in some type of way now, all of a sudden, after they've gotten some type of consolation here from some type of lawyer or something, after some type of loss or disappointment here, yeah, this older woman here. Who was a pleasure she you're doing shit for their own amusement their own enjoyment their own liking their own ill will their own desire yeah because they're the enemy were they working with the enemy yeah now they could be facing prison here so this person might sit for this sold some type of great fortune a house that they didn't want you to have that's what's going on here y'all And to think that a mother could do this to their own child. That's why I said ain't blood ain't thicker than water. Believe it. Believe it. I'm more inclined to believe that these ain't your real damn people. For 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 uh, this type of shit going on. Somebody here could be under contract, some type of commitment. Somebody saw this is Saturn energy. Somebody saw this soul. Somebody sold out. So they're definitely working. With somebody higher in power and authority because they're under contract. They probably sold out to become some type of ordained minister or some type of leader within the church. And when they sold out and signed their blood contract and took their oath, they offered you up as a sacrifice. 
Hmm. We'll clarify the trail. Clarify the trail. It came out again. Contracts, career commitments, Saturn energy until death tear us apart. You see that say that up there on top? This person betrayed you like this because they're under contract with someone. They sold, they sold. They sold, they sold. Spirit, so clarify, be careful who you trust. Be careful who you trust. Be careful who you trust. got deception here. You need to be careful of trusting this person because they're full of deception and temptation. This person would even come through and try to tempt you with things or whatever. You need to be careful of trusting this person. Because this person is not for you. Yeah, beware of the snakes trying to come into your life to harm you or fool you. Look, facade. Beliefs. This person might say they Christian. They may act like they saved, sanctified, delivered, and holier than thou. But look at this. This person is two-faced. You know what I'm saying? This person holding their face in their head here. Why? Because they're wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be. They're a false-ass person. They're a foe. This your op. This your opponent. This your enemy. Spirit, clarify I messed around and did the wrong thing. Mm-mm. Look at that. Karma. Balance. Justice. You see them balancing scales there? This person messed around and did the wrong thing in a, in a court of law. They perjured themselves. They lied. They falsified information, documentation, or something. And this person could be facing imprisonment. It's facing imprisonment because they messed around and they did the wrong thing. Trying to betray you. Spirit, clarify greed. Clarify greed. Clarify greed. We got decisions here. So this person made the decision to be greedy, to be materialistic, to be a money-hungry gold digger. So they stole something from you by going to the court to the courthouse in line before a judge. Mm -mm. Yeah. Now this person dealing with disharmony, triggers, conflict. You see both that man and that woman there? I'm telling you, whoever this mother is is working with somebody. It's married to somebody. They've been working together. That's why that marriage card came out here. And some, this is causing them some type of these evil doers in disguise. This is causing them some type of disharmony, causing them some type of conflict. Yeah. Now we got rejection, loss, and fragmented at the bottom of the deck. What people will do for money. They felt that when they saw they saw any damn way. When they signed some blood contract, when they took some bogus ass uh oath to some fraudulent ass individuals. That's where they fucked up at. That's where they messed around and did the wrong thing. They did the wrong thing there first. Even before they decided to commit a damn crime. So you clarify betrayal. Clarify betrayal. Yeah, this betrayal has caused some type of obstacles and challenges here. Because of this betrayal. Spirit, clarify, be careful who you trust. Be careful who you trust. Yeah, look at this. Because they're trying to sacrifice you. They've been trying to sacrifice you for the longest. It's a 12. Okay? And it's interesting. It's interesting because the, with a fire sign being here, this person... But you need to be careful of who you trust that's trying to sacrifice you. This person could be born in the 12th month, okay? Which would make them a Sagittarius, okay? The interesting thing is one and two is three. You could be born in the third month, which would make you a water sign, which would make you a Pisces. You see this person in this water right here? You see how this person in this water? Hmm. Signs and symbols is everywhere, baby. I guarantee you this is a fire sign trying to sacrifice a water sign. You need to be careful of who you trust. Especially if they're a fire sign. Spirit clarified. Look at this. Temptation. Beware the snakes trying to come into your life to harm you or fool you. This is like seeing the devil card, the traditional tarot deck here. Okay? The devil talks about um, bad habits, toxicities. 
addictive patterns of behavior. Somebody repetitively doing something over and over and over again to you. Okay? It also talks about temptation. It talks about addictions of all kinds. A money addiction is an addiction nonetheless. So a lot of times when you, when you hear addiction, most people think drugs, alcohol, or sex first. But addictions can be addiction to anything. It could be somebody can have addiction to lying, addiction to stealing, addiction to, to, to money, addiction to food, addiction to all type of things. But this temptation here, that's the devil energy. That's that devil energy. Okay? Spirit, clarify, mess around and did the wrong thing. Mess around and did the wrong thing. So that was definitely some deception and some envy. They messed around and did the wrong thing, and it has caused a major disruption here, okay? This greed was due to deception and envy. This person ripped off their own damn mask. You see how this person was wearing a mask? I told you this person is a false person. They're not who they appear to be. So on the surface, this person may come off like they just as nice and kind and generous and loving and saved, sanctified, delivered, holier than thou, righteous, upstanding, pillar of the community. But this person is full of deception and envy. They'll betray whoever to get what the hell they want. And play pretend like they're doing it in the name of Jesus. That's this type of person. Spirit, clarify the devil, uh, evil doers in disguise. I was trying to say evil doers in disguise, and spirit let me say the devil. They didn't come out for no reason. Oh, this person is a devil. Evil doers in disguise. See, they've been behind the scenes in the shadows, doing things behind your back, behind closed doors, teamed up, linked up with other people, working against you. Okay. I see heart shocker here. Something could be going on with this person's heart right now. Something, this person may be dealing with some type of illness right now. Because of this misfortune that has been caused. Because they got caught up with how they lied and how they stole something from you or something. Something may be going on with this person's heart chakra. what's going on y'all so we're gonna get some tarot we're gonna wrap this thing up this betrayal was clear and simple for the love of money period point blank yeah nine of ones that's why this person was so desperate to sacrifice you fire energy Is this, uh, why is this betrayal here? This person left you hanging, left you out in the cold, neglected you, abandoned you, left you with nothing. Why is this betrayal here, spirit? This person also did some type of spell work on you. This person either did spell work on you or had paid to have it done. This person was passionate. Passionate about moving forward to take action to work against you for this large lump sum of money here however much this is the ten of pentacles is a lot of money this person didn't, didn't, didn't give a damn how they had to betray you how they had to be disloyal unto you yeah this betrayal was all about the love of money I put it back in the deck and shuffled again this is what this betrayal was all about Look at that. The Ten of Swords talks about betrayal. This betrayal was for the love of money. Be careful who you trust. Moon. Okay? Because there's a lot of secret things, hidden things, a lot of things this person is doing behind your back, behind the scenes, behind closed doors. 
to betray you, to hurt you, to harm you. Spirit clarify, be careful who you trust. Look at this. This person has tried to have you kill. It's working behind the scenes to literally have you sacrifice. This person literally set you up to be sacrificed. Like, take your life. And it's supposed to be your mother. <laughs> and this person will stand in your face knowing that they betrayed you. And even if you you knowing this and confront this person, this person will swear up and down. I am a Christian. I would not do such a thing to you. But spirits say this person is jealous of you, envious of you, intimidated by you here with the five of wands, which talks about competition, talks about strife here. This is the reason why this person was so tempted, so eager to work against you. They see you as weak. Yeah. That's why this person caused all this conflict. These snakes that came in your life to try to harm you or fool you caused all this conflict in your life. They did. they did the wrong thing though they saw it i told you they saw they, the first thing that they did bronze when they saw they saw it, to the devil they chained to the devil they chained to the devil they greed that's devil energy it's very clarified mess around and did the wrong thing yes yeah, some type of truth or clarity came out some type of truth or clarity came out and this person could have been arrested or will be arrested Okay, this person could have went on the run and some type of truth or clarity came out here. Look at this. This person is a higher fan. This person is supposed to be some type of religious leader or teacher or something. Look at this. These evildoers in disguise. They tried to sacrifice you. They tried to sacrifice you for the love of money. They teamed up and linked up with others collaborated with others, gotten a contractual agreement with others to work against you for the love of money. And something backfired. Because now something, somebody, somebody is enduring something now. Somebody dealing with some type of burdens or hardships or problematic situations, okay? Yeah, because somebody is facing imprisonment. For, for, for they part or they rolled that they took in something. This is a shame. Your entire family was in on it. Your own supposed family was in on it. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, they did something in a court of law. There could be some swift, fast communication that is coming to you. Whoever this fire sign is, is someone in your family. But there was other persons. There was other persons who who knew that this was going on. There's a queen of swords that was involved in something as well. A king of cups. Queen of wands. King of cups. Queen of Swords. Yeah. Something has come full circle down. Some there's been a finalizing of something, a completion of something, an ending of something. Something is coming to an end here. Okay? These persons was doing hella spell work on you as well. To keep you from finding out what was going on, okay? But there's been a judgment, a decision that has been made. There's been a judgment that has been made. These people, you don't have to be real strong in this situation. Because they abandoned you. They mistreated you. They neglected you. They left you out in the cold. They left you with the bare minimum with nothing at all. To cause you heartache. To cause you heartbreak. This is what they did to you. Yeah. These people are liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, con artists, seeking and creeping around, trying to get away with something. A king of wands, uh, yeah, a king of wands keep trying to come out as well. 
a queen of pentacles. There's a lot of people involved. Empress, mother figure. They did everything in their power to cause you sadness, to cause you loss, misery, pain. Because a father figure here, an emperor left you some type of gift of generosity. And this is why these people did this to you, to take this from you, to keep you from having this. To keep you from having something. This is the reason why these people did this. They caused you extreme feelings, overwhelming emotions, sadness. They cause you extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions, but now they're the ones who's dealing with sadness and loss here. This is all for the love of money. Your own supposed family did you that. And there's plenty of other people that they involved with. Persons in power, persons in authority, people that you call friends. Because they paid off a lot of people to go along with this setup against you. And all of them was willing to throw you on the bus where they cut of the money. This means they never loved you. They were never for you to begin with. So that completes your reading, y'all. I thank y'all for listening. I thank you all for watching. If you'll be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond36 with the underscore between each word. Um, for any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash add three six diamond, or through Zelle, which is Tiffany Ziegler sixty at gmail.com. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch surroundings, and the company in which your children are in as well. And consider the fact that you never know. Someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.